my freshman. We're going to pick up with the 1980s and talk about social history. All right, so conservatism, uh, we talked about a little bit in class. This is the, uh, and it's, it's actually part and parcel with Watergate. Uh, people uh, on both sides, Republicans and Democrats, distrusted the federal government. Uh, the revelations of Nixon, the uh, the Church Committee, which uh, happened in 1975, where they investigated the FBI and the CIA. So <clears throat> by the time we get to the late 70s, early 80s, um, people just distrusted the government in general, and they thought that people made better decisions and that more government meant less freedom. So out of that, we get this guy, Ronald Reagan, our first actor to become president. Okay, um, I guess if you count Donald Trump, he would become second because, you know, we're little rascals and all that. So <clears throat> Reagan takes office in 1980. Um, he had run in 76 and had lost uh, to uh, Gerald Ford. Uh, and so he, you know, sided with Ford and, and agreed to talk to him. So <laughs> talk for him, I guess. Well, he ran again in 80. He this time wins the nomination. And he is going to push a very controversial, controversial idea called Reaganomics. So the idea was, uh, it's also called supply-side economics or trickle-down economics. You would cut taxes to everybody, but especially the wealthy. And the wealthy, in theory, would then take those extra, that extra money and they would use it to spend money and invest in the economy and probably even create jobs, okay? So again, the idea was that you know, the wealth would trickle down to the lower classes. Well, as we've learned over the years, that typically that's not what happened. The wealthy tend to keep their money and very little changes, okay? But um, Reaganomics, you know, even though it wasn't very popular in the beginning, it's, it sticks around. People still try it today. Uh, Kansas tried it a few years ago and it was a disaster for their, for their budget. Um, part and parcel with Reaganomics was uh, deregulation, fewer government rules, an increase in competition, and basically uh, getting the government out of regulating business, which it had been doing since really the New Deal, since the Progressive Era. Uh, so by 1984, income goes up 15%, 5 million new businesses, 20 million new jobs, unemployment drops to 5.5%, and many believe that Reaganomics was working. But as we talked about in class, the in-person classes, you know, the economy tends to be like a roller coaster. It goes up, it goes down, and um, there's not really a true sense that what Reagan did with the cuts actually led to businesses improving. All right, so family life, uh, divorce rate is going to hit 20%. 20% of all families have a single mother's. More children being sent to daycare. Uh, I was actually one of those people that was sent to daycare. Uh, both of my parents worked when I was a kid. So um, <clears throat> more women were in the workforce, more divorces, and more unmarried couples living together, which was still pretty controversial at that time. Uh, average salary, 23,145. Average home, 94,357. There's a conversion. Take it and multiply by 0.411. And then notice the 80s styles. You've got the perms there, uh, the couches. And then our average age at first marriage is creeping up, 24.7 and 22. And then you have here a split level home. We have a lot of these in Fort Osage. So if you know what these are, basically when you go in the front door, there's an upstairs and then there's a downstairs. And it basically is a, taking a what would be a one-story home and making it look like more of a two-story or one-and-a-half-story home. So there's a lot of those. A lot of starter homes are split levels. All right, technology. We have the uh, first space shuttle launch in April of 1981. Uh, right there, Columbia. Uh, first IBM PC. We actually, that was actually our first computer that we had, this exact thing. So yes, I had this computer as a kid. Played video games. <laughs> Disposable contact lenses, 1987. Cell phones, 1988. Look at that brick. Pretty significant there. And then CDs, 1982. Uh, and, you know, until streaming happened, that was the way you got your music. You know, it was after tapes and uh, records and things like that. All right, number one. What were the reasons for the rise of conservatism? Two, what was Reaganomics? Three, what was the idea behind deregulation? Four, what were the results of deregulation? Five, how did family life continue to change in the 1980s? Six, what was the percent of families headed by single mothers? Seven, what was the average age of first marriage for men and for women? And eight, what was some new technology of the 80s? All right, next we'll continue with the 80s and talk more about culture and politics.